Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So I'm using mainly tarot cards to start with, with an oracle card at the end. So I'm going to use the tarot grand lux to pull the overarching energy. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021 for Sagittarius, please. What is the message Sagittarius needs to hear the most? Thank you. Message Sagittarius needs to hear the most. Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay. Four of Wands. So I'm going to pull three cards, you know, by now, Sagittarius, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, starting with the challenge position. Third to the ninth of May 2021, please. One more shuffle. Message for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. Advice from Spirit. And then the outcome, near future outcome, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, let's clarify. Go deeper into the message for Sagittarius. Thank you. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, Sagittarius, I literally wanted to flip over the Jupiterian energy, which is your ruler. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. We have the Five of Wands. Sorry, Five of Swords, I should say. Six of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. There you are, Sagittarius, that is your energy. And the Eight of Swords. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards. I'm going to clarify this Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. And let's clarify the Ten of Cups, Three of Wands. And let's clarify that Five of Pentacles, please. Yeah, the Tower. Okay, Sagittarius. I've got a feeling some of you have had a run of bad luck in terms of money, career, finances. Or things have turned, haven't turned out the way you expected. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords for Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Um, and that's what I'm feeling, Sagittarius. Yeah, it's been a difficult journey. A lot of Sagittarian energy here as well. You could have, I mean, you know... The Wheel of Fortune is generally good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. 
you know, in the challenge position, you're being challenged with that, with experiencing that, you know, things, not, things don't seem to be going in your favour. Um, it, it can be about a period of, of, you know, like you've got bad luck or something, you know, and there's definitely an energy that you've been knocked, you know, this five of swords can be a card of, it can be a card of winning at any cost. There's winners and losers. And again, the six of wands is a card of winning. So it, it feels like it, it felt like there could have been delays or the difficulty in breaking free of what has been a challenging cycle. But you're absolutely being told here with this Ace of Pentacles, there is some victory to coming towards you. It definitely feels in this situation, you know, there is a win coming towards you. We've had this kind of message for you before, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure I had like the winner energy before. And I'm getting that kind of energy again here, Sagittarius. It's not insurmountable, this. This is somebody who doesn't really know. They feel a bit lost. They don't know where to look. Um, there can be some confusion in terms of how the future is going to pan out. Um, but, you know, with the Seven of Cups, there's always opportunity around you. There are always doors to open. There's such promise around you. Um, so there's definitely an energy here of doors to open, focusing on new hopes, dreams, wishes here. Um, it can be about choices and decisions, but it can be about multiple opportunity. There's opportunity around you. It, it feels like you've you've been challenged to experience the good luck, good fortune, but it definitely doesn't mean that it's not coming. There is some victory coming your way. And I'm getting this winning energy again. Um, it, it feels like some kind of offer, opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is, it can be to do with new beginnings. So... Uh, an opportunity, an offer, um, job offer, business offer, financial offer, it's money, career, finances, that opens a new door. Can be also moving, relocating as well. Um, but it, it feels in this situation you've been challenged to overcome uh, what has been a difficult journey and put it behind you. You want to break free from what has been a challenging cycle. And the message is that you're, you're going to. Um, It just feels in this situation, you feel a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit lost, but there is absolutely opportunity around you and that's what you're being told. Stay focused on those hopes, dreams and wishes. Because the period of, of it feels like for some of you, you will have an opportunity to put the weights down. The turn is a completion. And something is completing. And that's what we're definitely being told here. Something is completing here, Sagittarius. Um, a period of burden, hard work, you know, where it can get on top of you with the Ten of Wands, but you will have an opportunity to put those wands down. You will put down the burden, release the burden. The weight will be lifted. Because Spirit is saying a new period of a rainbow of blessings is coming your way. The happiness, the productivity that you've put in with this Ten of Wands, the hard work, the effort, the energy, the drive, even when you felt tired, will be rewarded because this is a card of productivity as well, the Ten of Cups. Um, so this is about how you've worked hard. Your ships are coming in. Something good is coming your way. This is the first signs of success, the first signs of growth, the first signs of something opening up for you. It's not quite in the harbour yet, but there's the beginnings of success coming your way. You could, I mean, obviously that could be news, that could be an opportunity being presented, that could be a connection being made. I mean, call it what you will, but something good is coming your way. And that's what this Three of Wands is all about. You can see it. You can finally see it going in your favour. And it is about manifesting a new path as well, this. And it's bringing the blessings, the happy ever after again, restoring happiness in the home, happiness in your work life, happiness in your relationship. Um, it's real joyous energy, the Ten of Cups. It's blissful, happy energy. So it definitely feels for some of you that a weight is going to be lifted.
this is about just stay focused on those hopes, dreams and wishes. Now, Sagittarius, something has happened and it feels in this, I mean, this can also be in the future as well. So the tower can be to do with the tearing down of the old. That, the tower can also be the pandemic for me as a reader. So it can be a card of experiencing change, deep change. And it can be in terms of, it feels like to do with your money, career, finances. Though I have to say for some of you, I feel you kind of already know this. I feel like you're already experiencing this because I feel like you're already dealing with this, certainly with the Nine of Wands. It's been a tough journey. So I'm feeling in this situation, this is something that you've been dealing with. You know, generally the Ten of Wands and Nine of Wands, there's history here. It's taken a period of time to get to the Nine and Ten of Wands. So there's definitely this energy, even though you've been experienced deep change in terms of your money, career, finances, this could be jo job loss. It can be a kind of feeling rejected out in the cold. Um, or changes, you know, changes in your contract, changes in what you're paid, feeling lack or insufficiency, and it can be a kind of begrudging. There's a reason for everything with the tower. Everything happens for a reason, and that's what you're being told. The tower is generally an act of love from the universe, and it tears down the old. As soon as it tests this building, it's found wanting. It's found to have weakness. It's not built on firm foundations. So it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. I'm getting in this energy of Sagittarius, even though you don't see how something is going to pan out, even though you think that something is beyond your control, which it is. It definitely feels like it is beyond your control. All you can do is adapt. Do the things that you do well to find your way through uh, what has been an extreme situation and find the solution. Find your way through the, that middle ground, steering your boat in the right direction to find your flow once more. And this is an expansive energy, a Sagittarian energy. Uh, temperance, when you temper metal, it becomes twice as strong. This will only make you stronger, this experience. And not just a stronger in terms of self, it's stronger in terms of what you've learned along the journey. This is about life experiences too. And how you're resetting and recalibrating and adjusting what your belief system is now and how you move forward on a new journey. So it definitely feels for some of you that you've experienced what has been a difficult journey. But I'm definitely getting this energy, you're one step away one step away, one hurdle away to bring in something to a completion and something good coming your way. The message is keep persevering with the Nine of Wands because it definitely feels in this energy you are one step away. Even though you don't see it, Sagittarius, there's definitely an energy of keep your head. Don't think something is futile. Just keep on doing what you're doing, you know. The Nine of, of Wands is Moon in Sagittarius. Even though you don't see how something's going to pan out, this is about surrender, trust, believe that by your own actions, you will bring change to your situation and not believing that things are futile. Now, there are things beyond your control. Certainly with the Tower, the pandemic was all beyond our control. Um, you know, uh, company decisions are sometimes beyond our control, but you understand how you need to adapt, how you need to refocus, reset, move forward, adjust, find your balance once more, find your flow, and definitely in this energy, understand how to find that solution to move forward. Um, so don't let the negative thinking, don't let the negative thinking hold you back because there's one thing about the nine of wands you're one step away it's one hurdle and it can be a physical thing one hurdle one push one meeting one conversation one opportunity one dot to i to dot t to cross paperwork to do presentation to do call it what you will but you are one step away from bringing new blessings coming into your life and it's definitely coming 
The Six of Pentacles is an energy of it's your time to receive from the universe. But it can be when you've struggled in terms of money, career, finances, you know, the, the Four of Wands can be the happy home, the family, but they've been hit financially. And, you know, the Five of Pentacles is about lack, insufficiency. The Six of Pentacles is only one step more than that. So we don't feel abundance with the Six of Pentacles. We feel there's enough to get by. You know, it's about making ends meet. It can be about accepting charity, however it's given from family, friends, companies, um, you know, charities, call it what you will. Um, it can be that kind of energy. But it's also the universe, the Six of Pentacles, telling you keep putting your energy in the right direction because that is linked to the law of attraction. What you put your energy into, your time and effort, will be rewarded and it will be your time to receive. So it definitely feels in this energy, Sagittarius, that you've been tested in terms of money, career, finances, but you're one step away. You're one step away. So I'm going to pull you one more card. One more card for Sagittarius, please. One more card for Sagittarius. And the message is, your ships will come in. There is patience with temperance. But, you know, this is about focusing on the right things. Let's have one more card for Sagittarius. Any other advice, please, Angel Spirits? Yeah, you see, I told you. I absolutely felt this. The wheel will turn in your favour. Good luck, good fortune. A weight will be lifted. This is obstacles being removed. This is the transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. Putting, doing what you do well, Sagittarius, adapting, focusing on the important things to open up that new path for yourself. You see the new path with the crown at the end. And it's interesting because, you know, in this energy, the crown that fell, there's definitely a new path that you're being led to here. Um, this is just about, oh gosh, what are the things I need to do? What do I need to focus on? How do I bring balance back into my life? In this extreme situation that I'm in, you know, how do I find my flow? And the Wheel of Fortune, your ruler, Jupiter, is things are opening up for you. Opportunity, good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth is coming. Uh, the wheel is turning in your favour. Good luck. There could be some coincidence here because this can also be somebody reaching out to you. Um, it can be somebody literally reaching out. Now, it could be advice. It could be, you know, to do with some opportunity. It, it could be somebody pointing you in the right direction, whatever this is. Um, but it's definitely things are opening up for you. Um, it's a lucky, lucky card, the Wheel of Fortune. Not really luck in the sense that it's always divinely orchestrated, things happening when they're meant to, but it can be a lot of coincidence and luck associated with this card as well. Very good in terms of money. So the wheel will turn in your favour and that's what you're being told. Yeah, so don't lose hope. Don't feel lost. This is about putting your energy in the right direction, keeping your head and doing what you do best and adapting um, and finding, adapting and finding balance once more, finding that new horizon, finding that way through a situation um, and finding your flow once more because there is something good coming your way. Okay, Sagittarius. Now it might not be this week because obviously this is a card of it's coming. It's not quite there yet. But I would say, certainly with this appearing in the next maybe couple of weeks. So what do we have? Yeah, moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Yeah, lovely, lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. <coughs> Sorry, I've got allergies at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I'll see you next time. Thank you.